No, I think I think free diving is a beautiful art form. It can be. It's. I like the idea that it can be universal. That you don't have to be an athlete. You don't even have to be aquatically inclined. Some of my favorite students have been quite afraid of water and quite reluctant to hold their breath. And that's that's the most, probably the most interesting side of free diving techniques available nowadays. Is that almost anyone, if their eardrums are okay, if they don't have any serious health problems, can learn to free dive, and it can be a, a very interesting exploration. Of their of themselves, of their body, and of nature. In yoga, they say the breath is the bridge between mind and body, conscious and unconscious. So free diving as an exploration of the breath and of the mind's reaction to the body. It's a it's a beautiful practice. It's a form of union. Yoga means to draw together our union. One of the ideals of yoga is not to waste energy, to find a yogi. And I don't classify myself among them, but、uh, I'd like to be, as someone who does not waste energy. And then, on a moral level, you can see all negative actions as a waste of energy. They create repercussions that are wasteful of energy, and positive actions are actions that create energy, generate energy, positive energy.、And、we can see all. Physical practices that are negative for the body are wasteful for energy. Junk food wastes energy, so it makes us sick.、Um, bad health practices make us sick. They injure us. They waste energy. By stopping this waste of energy or needless expense of energy, we, health happens by itself. Relaxation, meditation happens by itself. If we stop creating tension in the mind. If we stop putting things in the way, then meditation occurs, relaxation occurs. So if we see this yoga instead of something that we strive towards, rather that it is the natural course of the flow of nature, and it's us that put things in obstacles in the way, we waste, we put obstacles, we block, or we put, we are wasteful of energy. But if we were to stop wasting energy, then naturally we would be brought towards yoga. Our mind would move towards union with something bigger than ourselves. We become happier and healthier. And free diving is is a practice also of not wasting of energy. Under the water, you have to conserve oxygen. So thinking too much, that's a waste of oxygen. Moving too much, waste of oxygen. Holding tension in the body, they're all wasteful actions. So we can say, in a minor level, that it's it's even part of a. Of the royal path of yoga towards ultimate union. Yeah.